Yeah, hi guys. Okay guys, so whenever you join, please keep yourself muted. Hi Arun, this is Biswajit from Nairobi. How are you? Hey Biswajit, I'm great. How are you? I'm fine, fine. Are great. you okay now? Yesterday you have from, some problem in your voice, your tone. I think some so. Some problem. Should be good today. Mm, we should not experience a lot of disturbance in my voice. It should be fine today, yeah. Hi Arun, how's your uh, condition now about your throat? That's it's fine now. I hope uh, um, the session won't be disturbed much uh, with the cough, but it's okay. It will take time, maybe a week's time uh, due to the sudden weather change. And to be very frank, guys, I'm very careless uh, in terms of, uh, I mean, taking medicine on time. So that it's, is something. It's obvious you, you are... You are IT guy, na? It's it's obvious you are careless. <laughs> no, only that part I'm careless. Otherwise, uh, other, other domains are managed well. Yeah, it's I I can uh, understand you. You do a lot of stuff. Uh, I've seen your so many things over the internet, na? No? Okay, yeah, great, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Arun. Yeah, tell me. This I have a request. Tell me, yeah. Uh, can you can can you change the schedule uh, rather than in the evening time? Can you make it in the morning, 8:30 in the IST, uh, Indian time? It won't be possible, actually. Because, yeah, tell me. Mm -hmm. Because some guys are from EST time. From at the time, it is early morning. I actually did consider this before scheduling. So for them, it is early morning, like 5 a.m. close to, and I think in CST, it goes around 4 a.m. Uh, I know that's one challenge, but to be very frank, Biswajit, uh, being on a global scale, and we have people from every corner, uh, any time would be a problem for one or the other guy. So uh, I think- uh, Only Saturday, Saturday is the problem for me. I am two and a half hours behind the Indian standard time. Okay. Uh, even also, I am giving support in the Saturday to my clients because I am working in a banking environment. Okay. So that's why. If it is possible, otherwise it's okay. Uh, I'll see the feasibility, but uh, rather than that, what I can do is like uh, today I got good time in the morning. So rather than waiting to publish the video on Monday, I did it today. So that is something what I can do is like I can publish the uh, videos uh, on the same day rather than we all wait until okay. Monday. So that way I think uh, if if yeah if you are missing the Saturday content so Sunday morning you can brief up yourself with the Saturday uh, video and then continue with the session. Yeah, but 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 the thing is that online is very interesting so that we can, can ask some questions. <laughs> So in that way, uh, okay, yeah. okay. No, no, no. right. Okay. So guys, we have anything else before we start the session? Hi, Arun. Yeah. Hi. Is it Kamal? Yes, Arun. Yeah. Hi. How are you? How are you feeling now? It's it's okay now. Oh, great. We can't afford that. <laughs> No worries. Uh, okay, guys. So if nothing important, we'll start off today's session. So let's let's get started. I think we are just falling short of five more people to join the call. As I mentioned, we had 35 enrollments, 35 or 36. So we have 30 today on the call, and I hope no one is having issues with the audio. So great, guys. Let me just start my screen. Can you guys see the slide now? Okay. Yes. Yes. Yep. yes. Right. So we'll we'll start off with the Golden Gate architecture. Now I'll I'll not directly. Okay, guys. I mean, I'm sorry. Actually, I have written something for you guys. Uh, let me start off with that one. Then I'll come back to this topic. I I want you guys to know about this one first before we start the session. I think this was this we were supposed to discuss yesterday, but then. I, I just completely lost it. So what's the main difference between Golden Gate and Data Guard? Uh, this is something, it's a very important interview question. And if you can answer this question, uh, like all the points which I'll be listing right now, and if you answer it in this way, uh, trust me, with only with this answer, uh, anyone who's taking your interview can judge your 
depth of understanding of Golden Gate and Data Guard. Uh, and just a loophole in case even if you don't know what is Data Guard or did not get chance to practice on Data Guard, if you just know these points and and can elevate in an interview, like what's the difference between Golden Gate and Data Guard, uh, you will actually stand a good chance. So Oracle Golden Gate versus Data Guard. We have few points. Uh, we need to understand this one from a different perspective. And now you will understand there are chances that sometimes you won't use Golden Gate. Rather, you will go for a data guard. Yes, there are chances. Of course, uh, some reasons on a general note I can give you is like uh, the costing. Sometimes Oracle Golden Gate is very costly while you want to maintain a standby system so you can go with with the physical standby so that's where like costing issues come so let us look at the differences in different domains okay over here i'll be talking about uh, this is golden gate and this is data guard i'll just list some points and then we'll see what all are supported by golden gate and what is supported by data guard we'll start with query offloading Right in the query offloading, the best part is it is supported by both. Now you might have question how we can do query offloading in Data Guard. It's nothing but you configure a logical standby or you configure Active Data Guard, right? So that's a query offloading. Next is high availability. In this one, this is again supported by both. Like definitely in a data guard, you can have active data guard and also it will provide you high availability whenever there is issue with the primary site, right? Next is unidirectional full replication. Full replication. This is again supported by both in Golden Gate also and in data guard and you can have full database copy from primary site to the standby site. Next is heterogeneous replication. This is something is supported only by Golden Gate, but it is not supported by Data Guard because Data Guard will only work on the same OS as your primary site. So it's like your standby should be exactly on the same operating system and hardware as your primary site, right? Next is uh, I'm just uh, guessing like uh, which one we can include heterogeneous replication and also data transformation. See when you are replicating from one source to the target and you want to actually change the data let's take in the source the date format is in a different way and on the target the date format is in a different way that is only possible with golden gate and it is not possible with data guard that is about the data transformation right and then one more one more important point is like set of data for replication so the meaning is like uh, Okay, in Golden Gate, you can do it. In Data Guard, you can't do it. So what is the set of data? That means, so let's take, I just want to configure replication for one table, one schema, and set of tables. Then I can go only with Golden Gate because Data Guard will be your complete database level copy. So in, in this term, what I would say is, like Data Guard is just Control-C and Control-V of your primary site. It's the exact copy. There are no restrictions or no limitations until it is a logical standby. That's a different case again. And then you have bi-directional bi-directional replication. Guys, please make a note of this one because uh, I won't be saving this and Make sure you note down all these points. It's supported by Golden Gate and it is not supported by Data Guard. Okay, so bidirectional replication, it, I mean, you get it only with the Golden Gate. That is one good benefit. Now, after knowing so many benefits, you might still have question like, come on, Arun, we have so many benefits, but somewhere we must get a benefit of Data Guard over Golden Gate. 
otherwise see if you look at this column and if we are getting everything from golden gate then we can completely remove data guard technology right so what is that one benefit which can surpass golden gate and you will consider data guard over golden gate that is in one condition that is alter database and alter system this is not supported by golden gate but it is supported by data guard if you want a complete system like uh, control c control v whatever the sys user is doing whatever the base tables are having everything is control c and control v that is where data guard stands out now if you want to set up a replication of course this will be a little challenging if you want to set up a replication for a system where you want everything like from the sys user to all the users exactly like the primary site then you would choose data guard over golden gate and when to choose golden gate only in case you have some set of data actually this is pretty precise if you have some set of data which needs to be replicated like table schema something like that right and if there is a data transformation involved also if you have multiple vendor databases and operating systems which are actually supported by the golden gate so that's when only you will use golden gate otherwise some cases many a times data guard is enough now again it depends from environment to environment these are just few points to make make you guys understand about how i mean when to use <laughs> when to use golden gate and when to use data guard okay that's just an overview guys i'll just keep this one okay let's start now before i start off with this one let us in general talk about uh, okay we'll actually design our own technology right we we understood how the how the conversion of uh, it industry or how uh, organizations evolved from paper work to it industry right the one tier architecture two tier architecture and now we also have three tier architecture now in this evolution after evolution we we got this responsibility to design a product that can perform replication we'll we'll take oracle as an example i don't want to take any other database as an example so we all we all 30 odd people are now designing a new replication technology okay so we'll we'll put in our ideas and then i will actually match up these ideas with the golden gate architecture see we have a source db we have a target db now somebody told us that okay uh, we don't want to use data guard but i just want a, a table to be replicated so what can be can we do uh, we are okay these are just assumptions we are assuming mvs are not there and we are also assuming db links are not there okay just in case so client is saying don't use any of these or any native oracle features but design a new application so we'll we'll just uh, figure out some ideas we will define the logical steps the simple way is there is a table now in this table if any changes happen okay when i say changes it will be two types uh, types of changes which are dml and ddl right these two are most important one so initially i'll just talk about dml because we have a separate session for ddl commands okay so we'll deal with the insert update delete commands those are the dmls which are executed on a table now when a user is executing any dml command right so that is the same command i want to be executed on target as well right this is my source this is target this is the basic requirement now what we can do is we can have client connected to both the systems at one time and just an idea okay i'm just coming up with some ideas and whenever this user is issuing a query it it is executed on both the systems that is like a sql execution this is something we can do but there is a problem you cannot connect to like two databases simultaneously while you are querying and that is spreaded on to 
multiple databases you again need some kind of new technology in between that captures the sql and distributes the sql onto different dbs so this this rule is not possible so what can we do next the simple idea is i need to capture okay i need to capture the dmls from source now the question is when to capture this is this is the first step i need to capture the dmls but the question is when to capture the simple way to capture is i will capture okay understand um, a user has issued some update command the update is running for 2 hours okay and it, it is continuing over there and immediately what i do is i take the sql and then i start applying it onto the target this is a scenario i'm saying after the update is completed the user rolled back the transaction so what's the problem again these rollbacks all the commands will be re-executed onto the target so this is overhead that means we are wasting a lot of resources so the best way is when to capture means whenever the transaction is committed right so if a transaction that is executed on the source and if it is committed i want it to be captured that means there should be a capture process which can capture these dmls now the next question is from where to capture the simple answer is all our sql transactions are written into redo logs correct redo or archives see it's so simple uh, we are just designing a product we are understanding the logical steps so i say that the step number one in my replication is to capture the transactions when to capture i just want them to be captured only when it is committed or when the transaction is committed because i don't want any overhead uh, when user rollbacks the transaction and then where to capture means i'll be capturing it from redo or archive logs correct because that's where i have all my transactions now after capturing i need to send it to the target server right so that means the second step in my in my entire design would be to send changes perfect so we need to send changes from the source system to the target system now on the target system these changes are to be applied correct that means the third step would be apply so as per the logical design of our new product i i have three stages first i need to capture the transactions next i need to send those changes to the target server on the target i need an apply process to apply the changes received correct this is so simple architecture now this is the same architecture that we have with golden gate exactly same but there are further steps which will be understanding in some time so we have one question like what's the cost difference between golden gate and data guard it depends if you are using active data guard then definitely you have more license the other ones are free for your requirement